there. This is Ananda Brutvan. I'm the media contact for the Smith Center for the Arts, and I'm here today speaking with Mike Riley, bassist for the Pure Prairie League. Um, they'll be coming to Geneva in just a few weeks to perform at the Smith Opera House on Saturday, June 18th at 8 p.m. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm great, Ananda. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. We're all very excited that you're coming to visit us here in upstate New York. Um, do you want to tell me just a little bit about uh, PPL? Like, how long have you been playing together? I know you have a legacy. Well, yeah, the band started in 69. So it's, uh, you know, we're in our 30, but well, no, 53rd year. <laughs> so, Couple decades um, off from 30. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you know, we've been around a long time and uh, we've been very fortunate uh, that we've had, you know, a 50 plus year run just, uh, being, which all I can say is it's it's got to do with the fans and the uh, you know and the fact that they appreciate the music and they still stick with us after all these years. Yeah, it sounds like you've been very uh, fortunate in your fan base there, um, but it must have something to do with the music that you play. What kind of sound would you classify the music that you folks play together as? Well, it, it's kind of hard to pigeonhole it because uh, there's there's so many different influences involved. But, you know, yeah. I mean, the popular label that everybody finally hung on us was country rock. All right. So, sort of in the, uh, you know, the same uh, ballpark as Poco and uh, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band and New Riders of the Purple Sage and act like that, you know. Yeah, I do know. Well, it seems like there's a pretty good audience for that up here in upstate New York. Uh, I know that people are pretty excited to hear you play. Uh, who are you in the same formation that you've always been over your 50 years or have, you know, members jumped in and out over time? No, oh, this is, uh, I think uh, right now we're on our 51st <laughs> and 52nd members. Wow. So many iterations. Who's playing uh, this time around? Do you know? Well, yeah. On uh, pedal steel guitar is our original pedal steel player and founder of the band john call mm -hmm. um uh our drummer who's been with us for about 13 years is scott thompson our keyboard player has been with us for about three or four years that's randy harper uh we have a new guitar player that's been with us uh since the middle of last year named jeff zona um a new bass player since i retired from touring for the most part uh his name is jared kamick and um, uh, the band's just kicking butt. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing the music proud. It's really, really something to see. That must be satisfying. So you said you took a little break and you're back on the tour now. Yeah, I had some, uh, you know, ticker issues at the uh, toward the uh, last fall, last part of last year. And so I had to get a couple of procedures done and get some things taken care of. And um, although I feel great, you know, the doctor says, you know, you're crazy if you go out and tour. <laughs> so yeah. I just figured I'd take a little time off. And, uh, you know, I got I got a great guy to take my place. It sings and plays great. And uh, and so, you know, I mean, I still run the band and I do all the logistics and everything like that. So, uh, you know, I've, I've got my fingers way deep into it. But uh, many but, times. Um, yeah, and it's, you know, it's kind of, I got to tell you, to, to be honest, Ananda, it's it's kind of a, a real <laughs> pleasure to not have to get up and every Thursday get on an airplane and, you know, fly all over and drive all over. And It certainly takes a lot of heart power to rock out. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. And, uh, you know, the last thing I want to do is go up there and, and, and uh, be old because, you know, I mean, I may be in my 70s, but I don't, uh, you know, my head's somewhere back in the 50s. So, well, I've heard that that's the case in general, that no one ever feels old. <laughs> they well, just become old. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Although, you know, there have been way too many surprises in the last few years of, uh, of colleagues of mine and you know fellow musicians that uh pushed it a little too hard and then you know wound up uh checking out so to speak so absolutely well i'm glad that you're putting your health first but it does sound like it'll be nice for you to have this uh kind of return if you are just taking it easy while you do it absolutely yeah it's uh I, you know we uh, i did a few shows uh the beginning of the year with the band um i just played rhythm guitar and sang and uh, it was a lot of fun we did a cruise 
with 24 other bands and in, uh, in February and that was a gas so I mean there are there are certain shows that I'll, I'm going to try to be involved with um, you know over the course of this year um, yeah you know I love the Geneva area my wife and I really we we like uh, vacationing up in the Lake George area so Oh, um, beautiful area. Yeah. And I live in Long Island on the uh, east end of Long Island and the Hamptons. So, you know, I mean, it's it's not that uh, terrible of a drive for me. So, yeah, it doesn't sound like it. Well, it seems like it's going to be a treat then for you to be playing at our show here in Geneva. Oh, it's a beautiful opera house. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's a historic building. It's been really lovely uh, seeing it be restored to kind of its full glory. And it's nice that we're having shows again, you know, with COVID and everything. Sure. Slow down a bit, but we're back in full swing, which is nice. And it'll be good to have you play. But I know what you mean. I mean, it certainly is uh, a lot of energy that goes into these shows. I went to a show earlier this year and the artist had thrown her back out and she was playing from a couch they pulled out on stage. She just played completely horizontal the entire show. Well, that old cliche about the show must go on, you know, has been so ingrained into uh, artists it. and musicians and uh, circus performers heads for so long that, uh, you know, that's, you know, we sort of treat that as gospel. I believe it. I mean, it's certainly you have a lot of people expecting you to be there. I'm sure that there's um, a daunting mentality when it comes to the idea of canceling something or rescheduling it, it must have been awful during COVID and everything. Well, I know this show was rescheduled a couple of times, so we're, you know, we're thrilled that it's back, uh, you know, that the Smith is back up in operation and that we get to uh, come up and play. Me too. I mean, it's going to be so nice to have, you know, people are so star starved for live music. I certainly am. It was the saddest part. I didn't mind not going to restaurants, but not being able to go to concerts was a real blow. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, you know, it's uh, we. I guarantee you, uh, we'll give them a good show. The the folks will be uh, walking out of that theater happy. I'll for sure. I believe it. Um. So you're are you going to be back on tour completely, or is this a one off show? Um. It it depends on uh, the clearance I get from uh, the MD. You know. Yeah. But, uh, absolutely. But, but I don't know. I mean, it's I, I've put 50 some odd years into the band, uh, you know, touring and producing and managing and everything else with the band. So, uh, you know, it's it's getting to be that time where, you know, I'm I'm thinking about maybe just uh, settling back a little bit and enjoying, uh, you know, the the uh, my reclining years with my <laughs> wife and family. You know, Absolutely. You deserve it. Well, it <laughs> sounds like you've had, uh, you know, plenty of experiences on the road at this point for you to keep in your hat. Do you have any uh, particularly exciting tales that you'd like to share with our viewers from your 50 year, 50 well, year touring? There's a million of them. You know, I should probably say, wait for the book, but uh, God knows <laughs> when that's going to happen. So who knows? But well, uh, in your uh, reclining over, years. Yeah, over the years, we've had some, uh, you know, pretty amazing experiences. You know, the first show I played with uh, the band in 72 was a uh, one of those Woodstock type festivals in Illinois. And it was, you know, 300,000 or 400,000 people and, you know, the whole Woodstock lineup and all that. And it was, a, you know, that was a great way to start the band, pretty auspicious. And then, uh, yeah. you know, over the years we've played, we've played with just about everybody. I mean, we toured for years with Charlie Daniels and Marshall Tucker and the Outlaws. We've toured with America, ZZ Top. Um, not, you know, you name it, we've we've done shows with them. And uh, and it's, you know, uh, over the years, it's just been an amazing um, juggernaut. You know, it's it, uh, yeah. it every year seemed to always get better. And uh, and this year is no exception. You know, now that we're back back out on the road and getting to play after that long COVID break, um, it's, there's just a renewed sense of energy and uh, you know, commitment to what we do. And I think the folks uh, can definitely relate to that when they see us in concert. I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, I think that the audience members kind of have a similar feeling of like de dedication to getting back out there and supporting all, all these bands that haven't been able to play. You know? That's true. And that's, you know, that's what keeps us, you know, in this business, that's what keeps us all alive. It's, um, you know, it's really gratifying to look out in the audience from the stage and seeing people, you know, some people are kind of like leaning back in their seats and their eyes are rolled up in their heads and they're back in their college days in their mind, you know, and then I other people it. are, 
are singing along every song, every word. So that's, you know, that's a real treat for us knowing that uh, these fans have uh, maintained that type of dedication over these years. Yeah. I mean, it must be so gratifying to know that you can kind of offer that sense of catharsis to all those people. Um, and it sounds like this will be no less of a performance coming up this June. It'll be a lovely time of year for a show. Um, Perfect time for a little uh, vacation weekend in, uh, in the Finger Lakes. Yeah, a vacation that will rock. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I so appreciate you coming to talk with me. Um, if any listeners out there are uh, big fans, which it sounds like you've got plenty of them, know that, uh, you know, Pure Prairie League will be playing at the Smith on Saturday, June 18th at 8 p.m. If anybody is interested in uh, learning more about the event or getting tickets, they can find those uh, pieces of information at thesmith.org or visit or call our box office for phone and in-person sales, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday through Friday uh, at um, 82 Seneca Street in Geneva or with the phone number 315-781-5483. So please reach out, get a ticket, come through, listen to Mike Rock here. <laughs> and in his glory. Um, and I do really appreciate you speaking with me. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. There's a, there's also a ticket link um, on oh, yeah, purepreadyleague.com. So, you know, you can go to purepreadyleague.com, get some more information about the band. And also uh, you can buy tickets through that uh, ticket link, you know, that Great. goes right to the Smith. So thank um, you so much. Looking forward to it. Really are. Yeah, we are too. We'll see you then. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you.